Okay, I figured I'd make this because I had a ton of trouble trying to figure out how to time the 2.4 liter Mitsubishi engine. Uh, the Gallant is the same way. This is for the single overhead cam engines. So you can see right here on the reluctor plate, make sure you put your reluctor plate in the right way also. Um, so you're gonna want your keyway facing um, to the back of the car. And then right here, you're going to see a notch in your reluctor plate. Make sure you don't get your reluctor plate on backwards, otherwise it ain't gonna run for shit. So you can see that little mark at the end of my shadow right there is lined up perfectly with that notch right there. At the same time, you want this arrow lined up with that triangle right there. Now at the top, you're gonna want to tension the belt from this side when you put the belt on. And you want to make sure that your cam, your cam gear, you can see there's a line right here. You want that line to be perfectly lined up. I don't know if you can see it with that line right there. There's a line on the, the cam gear right there. That needs to be perfectly in line right there. And that's how you get your top dead center or how you get your timing set perfectly on your engine. Uh, 2.4 liter Gallant and Eclipse. Single overhead cam only. And the way I'm doing it is when you're under here, the way you're supposed to do this anyway, is you loosen up this pulley. That's how you get your belt into place. Leave that loose until you get your tensioner installed, keeping something in there as a pin. You install this first, and then you want to turn this until the belt is semi-tensioned, not super tight. You just want to turn it until the belt has tension on it, and then tighten up that 14 millimeter bolt. And then I installed the uh, tensioner afterwards, and then you pull the pin out, and that'll tension your belt. And uh, the whole reason we're doing all this is because the previous guy that owned this car um, left that in place in this car through a belt. So hopefully it didn't cause any valve damage. As far as I know, it did not. Um, I did a leak down test and turned it over a little at a time to make sure the valves are not leaking. And I think we got lucky with that. But anyways, hopefully that helps you guys out. Um, the reason I made this, cause I can't find any info anywhere. Even the diagrams are kind of, you know, very vague on all these uh, how to's and all this stuff or like the how to videos have like old video quality you can't even see anything but anyways just make sure you have that lined up and you got your arrows lined up and stuff and your cam has got the line lined up with the the line on top of the valve cover